Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da habita fillah We can't underestimate the importance for reviving a Islamic community in and of itself it's important to revive the Islamic community but the how the kayfiyah is very important and that kayfiyah habitifillah lies in al and i know people are tired of hearing the importance of talib al ilm talib al ilm they hear us always talking about it and but honestly how else can you revive something illa bil ilm Without knowledge, how else can you revive anything? Nothing good comes about through ignorance. Nothing good comes about through ignorance and remaining ignorant. So when the Muslim community can easily be deceived by various ideologies, by various forms of bid'ah, by various forms of deception and being further away from the religion because of the lack of knowledge of what is halal and haram, then it's very easy to be deceived and lose your faith. And this is why many of the parents wonder, well, why is my youth, you know, he, he memorized the Quran. We put him in the Duxiga Quran. -ka. We put uh, our son in the, the madrasa, the madrasa for tahfid in the Pakistani community. We did this and we did that. But in fact, they didn't do, do what was necessary to secure their family in their day-to-day -day lives. And not just memorizing the Quran, but understanding the Quran. Most of our hafad, even around the world, I think it's safe to say, don't understand the Quran. Meaning so many cultures and communities put emphasis on memorizing the Quran, which is excellent and actually should be applauded but however they forget that the deen that they need more they need to understand the quran and they need to know and understand the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and understand the importance of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to implement that in their lives to have the love for the prophet to have the love for the deen and that's one of the things we fail to implement is really the love of the deen and there are various things going on there. There is sometimes the lack of attention of the parents. And sometimes the bottom line is, is what we're assaulted with mentally, spiritually, and physically in many of the societies we live in is counterproductive and destructive. And destructive towards your iman. And that is why the tools of the ilm and the tools of love of the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu are the things to help you protect yourself and your family. Ilm al nafiyah Ilm al nafiyah As we mentioned in another hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu when he mentioned those things that would stay with you. He said, Al ilm yintafa'bi He said, knowledge that the people benefit from. That's one of the things after you die that will remain with you when you're in the grave and benefit you. Meaning you left students that can uh, that, 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 or you left books that the people read and benefit from and come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with. Or you left tapes and things recorded that the people benefited from and they were reminded of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This benefits you in your grave. What's going to benefit you in this life? The Prophet sallallahu said, and this is, it shows that this Talib al-Ilm, not only is it a path to Jannah, <coughs> but it's the path to success in this life. It's going to help you navigate all this fitna. Because we are in a time of great fitna. We're in a time of great trials and tribulations. Destructive ideologies, destructive tendencies, destructive habits. Some of the youth, they play PlayStation, for example or whatever the video games are out there these days, this gaming, 
But it's not that they just game. We're not just talking about all the things they see in the game. Let's just forget all that and all the music and all that other stuff. Forget that. Everybody's doing it. Not that it makes it good, but but what we need to do, what we need to be reminded of, why is my backpack in the middle of the road? What we need to be reminded of a habit of Allah is the time wasting. Is that so many people put hours and hours and hours into these games and they don't pray. Or if they are people who pray sometimes, they miss Fajr because they they literally, the time they could make Qiyam al-Layl, even if it was Rakhatain, they were busy playing, in, in, indulged in the worldwide community of gaming. They were interacting with people around the world instead of interacting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it's the time. So meaning that there are so many slight ways and subtle ways that we're distracted from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that helps to destroy us as a people and destroy us as a community. We don't think of those things. We think of those things as harmless. When we want to keep up with the Jones, our youth, they have to have the nicest shoes. They have to have the most expensive shoes. Because a nice shoe that does the job is not good enough. It's not the right design. It's not the right designer brand. Instead of appreciating the netma from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that we're not homeless. When I come back here to America, I see Seattle is one of the highest in America for the homeless community. I think something like nine, ten thousand. 10,000. It's only second to LA. That shows we got to appreciate things. In fact, the Habit Fila was in the store when I got my phone, phone number. The guy in front of me was homeless. And I knew this from his smell. The repugnant smell, and I could see from his, his, his thing. And guess what he was doing in the phone store? He was getting some sort of upgrade. He was wondering why his service wasn't upgraded so he could play certain video games. And the man probably sleeps in plastic. There's no doubt about it. He was for sure homeless. And he even made a joke or mentioned it himself. So this was a homeless man about my age. But what his concern was, was that little bit of entertainment. Now I can understand that. You need something to enjoy. But you need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we don't want to follow that sunnah. We want to be guided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be a source of guidance in our communities. We need ways to capture our youth. And one of the things, and this is the asal, and I know people may disagree because they want to have recreation centers, which is good. I'm with that. And they want to have community centers. And that's good, and I'm with that. And they want to have this, and they want to have that. But I also want you, even if five people are in the halaqa, we need the, the masajid to be lit with ilm. They need to be lit with the tulab al-ilm, given durus. Even if it's only a few students, because you don't know what those few students might produce. So that's a reminder for me and my brothers and sisters in, in faith. So the Prophet Sallallahu said, Man sallaka, man sallaka tariqan. Yaltalmasuhu bihi ilman sahalallahu lahu tariqan ila jannah. Whoever traverses the path of knowledge, Allah will make easy for him the, whoop, the path to Jannah. Man sallaka tariqan yaltalmasuhu bihi ilman sahalallahu lahu tariqan ila jannah. Whoever traverses the path of knowledge, Allah will make easy for him the path to paradise. Ilm al nafi is imperative for reviving our communities. And that means Ilm al kitab wa Ilm al sunnati Rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is going to help restore and save some of our youth. Because if we really look at things, we're not going to be able to save everyone. But you want to do what you can to offer the people clarity, bayina, and goodness, and righteousness, which comes through ilm al-nafiya, ilm al-nur. Knowledge is light. <coughs> and we ask Allah the Almighty <coughs> to accept this from us 
and forgive us of our many, many, many sins. And bless us with ilm al-nafi wa rizqan tayyib wa amal al-mutaqabilin. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to practice what we preach and forgive us of our many sins. Bless us to be on the path of ilm and the path of sunnah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.